Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, guys. Welcome to the first video of 2021. I can't wait. This is it. This is the first video on the channel in 2021. We've hit the new year. And um, what a way to kick off, you know, a big theme park news from update. We've got a couple more to come uh, this evening as well from Six Flags Magic Mountain and Six Flags Darien Lake. Uh, so stay tuned for them. Uh, big, big news from updates. Good discussion videos as well. And this, the brand new setup. I hope you like it. Uh, I love the new office. Um, but in this video, we're going to start the new year on a massive, massive high. Because the London Resort have submitted their plans for the actual theme park. So we're going to get uh, hopefully a 28 day wait for them to look over it, contact local authorities, uh, get the planning application in order, and then we'll hopefully hear uh, soon in the future this year uh, whether it's been accepted or rejected. So before we get started with all of that, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss another theme park newsroom update and any other theme park videos. Also, guys, if you go into the description down below, um, you can check out where you can submit your video ideas using the Google Forms link. There's a link to the article where all this information came from, which is where we do with the other updates, so make sure you go and look at the article yourselves. Um, also, guys, you can go into the description where you can find links to Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat, so other ways you can get in contact with Coaster Chow. And also, you can go into the Discord server, and you can go and check out that where you that's right, you can interact with other Coast Shell fans. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the information around the London Resort. So, this article is from Blue Loop, and officially, the government's planning ex inspectorate agency, New Year, but the words never change, uh, will then have a period since after the submission of 28 days during which they'll write to local authorities and together assess adequacy on the consultation. They will then evaluate the application before accepting or rejecting the submission. Now, if successful in securing development consent, construction on the London Resort could begin in 2022, with the plan to open in 2024. So maybe by the end of 2021 this year, we might have some uh, work starting on construction, possibly. Um, now, the development consent order comprised of 25,000 pounds pages, over 25,000 pages of reports. Uh, now assessments and analysis is also in there as well and it details exactly how this largely brownfield former industrial site on the Swanscombe Peninsula in Kent, just 17 minutes from central London by high speed train, will be transformed into the, one of the world's most leading and immersive destinations. So, for those of you who need a little reminder of exactly what's going on, let's have a look at the six themed areas in the park. So first up is the studio, it's the modern day warehouse district inspired by blockbuster movies. Now this particular themed area looks amazing, I mean it does look incredible, um, just like all the rest of the areas. We're not going to look too in depth uh, to the specific rides and attractions, but um, we are going to do that in a separate video in the future once more details have come out, once we've got more of an idea of when it's been rejected or accepted. So stay tuned for future videos on the London Resort, and if you can spot any images uh, throughout the concept images that we put on your screen then comment down below there's also the woods which is an enchanted realm influenced by fables and fairy tales so a wonderful uh, theme for a themed area theme for a themed area grammar child grammar um, but the woods is a great area for the park it's a great fantasy area uh, not too distant from the kingdom area which is, of course, about sword, sorcery, dragons, and Arthurian legends. So you got the fantasy area with the woods and the medieval stuff with the kingdoms. So really good uh, balance. Not really, a, it's not really a clash of themes with those two areas. It's more of a collage of themes. So there's sort of they, there is similarities with fantasy and medieval, but there's differences, and they've really um, honed in on the differences to create two different themed areas, which is lovely. There's also the Isles. Again, giant creatures, mythical beasts, and jaw-dropping architecture. So again, it's got its similarities with the fables and fantasy and the medieval dragons. So I like how they're honing in on the differences and creating different themed areas as sort of 
like um, specific themes. So we've got a specific fantasy theme, a specific medieval theme, and a specific theme of giant creatures. So very good stuff there. We also have the jungle, which is ancient ruins of a long lost Mesoamerican civilization. So a lovely adventure theme, giving me Adventureland vibes from uh, the Disney parks. And finally, the starport, which is the sci fi 23rd century landing zone, which is absolutely awesome. Now, for those of you who need a little bit of an idea of exactly what is going to happen, uh, the London Resort will have two theme parks. Uh, two theme park gates specifically, one in 2024 and then the second gate will open in 2029. They'll also have a water park, uh, a conference and convention centre, an eSports facility, 3,500 hotel rooms in creation and two ferry terminals, one each side of the River Thames, along with back of house facilities, a visitor centre and a new road from the A2. The vast majority of the materials required to construct the resort will be delivered by river. Now, the London Resort will be one of the world's largest immersive experience centres in the world. Now, along with this, it's important to note that this is going to be the first built-from-scratch leading resort destination in Europe since Euro Disney, Disneyland Paris, was first created back in 1992. So, even the second part, the Walt Disney Studios Park, back in 2002, will not be is not as big as the Disneyland Park creation itself in 1992. However, this is the first big Europe destination construction from scratch since Euro Disney's first official opening which is amazing and I can't wait for the London Resort to open and show off its world-class beauty. So there we go ladies and gentlemen that is talking about the London Resort. Um, really good uh, information there about the London Resort, world-class destination. i followed this project since 2012 and I can safely say that I am a huge fan of this project. Um, I definitely think that overall they've done a really cool job with this. I think that um, the park has to take so much tremendous credit for this. Um, it was first announced as Paramount Park Kent back in 2012. Um, we, we first heard about this being built on the Swanscombe Peninsula. First it was going to be a full Paramount Park. Uh, and then Paramount stepped out of the project. Many other companies stepped in and stepped out like the BBC, the ITV, Arban Animation. People stepped in, people stepped out, people stayed on, people left. And, you know, overall it became the London Resort and then Paramount stepped back into the project. And it's been also, as, as soon as this guy, this P.Y. Jabal came in, in the summer of 2019, it's been all systems go for this project. And now we're at the stage where we can finally hear the official confirmation in the future that this is going ahead. And it's, 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 not, it's eight or nine years in the making, this project. We've, heard, we've wanted to wait for this confirmation to put the doubts at bay for eight or nine years and we can finally hopefully do that um so i'm a massive fan of this project i hope you guys are a massive fan of this project as well and i can't wait to cover more about this in uh, 2021 this year so there we go thank you very very much for watching the first official theme park newsroom update uh, from the London Resort and the first update of 2021. Uh, we will bring out a channel trailer at some point it's just sort of close to the season i guess um we will also have other theme park news and updates from Six Flags Magic Mountain and Six Flags Darien Lake coming today, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Child. Keep living the coast of life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a thrill-tastic day.